Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Just bringing it up on screen. Hopefully. Sorry, technology and me are having issues this morning. Oh, there we go. I'll turn that down. All right, Louise, I'm live, babe. Let me just adjust my camera. Hey there, Susan. So you're telling me it's not about me anymore? It's not all about you, babe. It's a little bit, about, little bit about me for the time being. Oh, how are we all? Happy Monday, wherever you are. Uh, here today in Adelaide, it is sunny. We were just saying, sun's out, gun's out. Um, the sun is shining. It's a little gusty. Um, could you shut that front door, please, please? Thanks. Um, it's a little gusty, but that's okay. Um, but today I thought I would endeavour to do... Hello, Lynn Simpson. Let me turn my comments on. Oh, hi. Hi, Dana. Hey, Rebecca. Oh, Michelle. Everybody's here. All the gang's back together. Um, okay, so I thought I would do... Endeavour, I, I don't know what the rest of this week is going to hold yet, but I'm going to try and do a little bit of, oh, hey there, Bevis. I'm going to do a little bit of a live every day, hopefully. And they're going to be short, sharp and shiny. And I think I'm just going to, today I'm going to use my Dina Wakely craft journal. Um, but I thought I might just do something to bring a little bit of light into your lives. A little bit of paint, a little bit of art, a little bit of happy, something to make you smile. Um, something for you to laugh at because, you know, that's, it's me. Um, and also, I want to reward all of you for being customers, for being friends, for being um, very wonderful. And we're going to do something for all of those of you who, who feel like placing an order. Lockdown sucks. If you use that code at the checkout... Today only, today only, today until 11 p.m. Adelaide time, you will get 10% off paint, 10% off collage paper, and 10% off stencils, okay? You have to use the code at the checkout, lockdown sucks, because we know it does, but it is what it is. All right, so I thought today that I would do a little something with some scrap effects, bits and pieces. I have got my craft journal here and I'm going to use these two girls. Um, so I'm just going to cut these out while we are chatting. And these are the little, I can't remember what they're called actually. Um, <laughs> thanks Melinda. Um, they are the, oh, I'm going to go a little bit closer there we go they're a little raunchy they're a little risque ladies and I'm okay with that we could do with a little bit of risque on a Monday um how was everybody's weekend I hope something made you smile I hope that something made you laugh I hope that somebody made you smile um or made you laugh and I hope you all got a little bit arty, got your paint on a bit. Um, I did my live Facebook on Saturday morning, which was the art journal class for August. And we did a wonderful page using some exclusive designs from my lovely uh, friend, Michelle Grant. And you can still sign up to that class if you jump online to nataliemay.com.au. It's only 26 bucks. Uh, and um, what else did we do? Oh, we went up to Tail and Bend to the roll racing on Saturday night, which was an absolute blast. So that's like a full testosterone thing. And if you go back and have a look at my Instagram, you'll totally understand what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, it's, it's Trev's thing. And I love watching it. It's great fun. And Louise and I laughed and laughed and laughed had a little beverage then we laughed some more and yep that about sums it up actually is that what we did Lou yep 
sums it up. Hubbies were pet beach and yep. driver. The boys were happy. Um, and we stood on the balcony above the uh, pit lane at um, the big motorsport park. Because the hotel looks over the whole park, so it's pretty awesome. Um, and it's just something a little bit different. Very noisy. Great people watching. Like, oh, best sport ever. Um, is, is people watching just not the funniest thing? Um, so, yeah, some good people watching and um, laughing. A little bit of cheese. A little bit of dip. A couple of carrot sticks. Oh, there wasn't any carrot. Where was... Cucumber. Cucumber and, and capsicum. And in it um on yeah. we didn't we didn't have a there was no carrot. I took a carrot up. You didn't peel the carrot though. I peeled it at home. You peeled it at home beforehand. We didn't cut the carrot up. I never saw the carrot. I don't know what you're talking about. It was the orange one. It was the orange one. Oh good oh. Anyway. So these are my girls. Look at her little boot little bosom there. Um all right, so what am I going to do with these? I think that I'm going to pop a bit of paint on, but I might do a little collaging first. So I'm going to pull out my gel medium. I'm going to use the Chroma Krill Impasto Gel Medium, which is, as most of you know, my go-to. And I have got here some collage paper. So this is the Dina Wakeley collage paper. I'm just going to rip that baby over. It's a bit strong. It's a bit intense. Um, it's a bit perfect. So I'm just going to kind of make it not so perfect. And I'm going to go up here. So collage paper um, is all on special if you use that code. Where's my other bag? Hang on a minute. I've got a big bag of people watching. Who's that? Michelle. Michelle from New Zealand. New Zealand. How are you, my love? I hope everything over there is um, fabulous and sensational. No, I don't want to use her. Gosh, I miss your face. I would love to be a, I'd love to do a trip to New Zealand. Actually, look, you know, I think everybody would just like to do a trip everywhere. Um, but I'm not going to bang on about it. So, all right, I can't find what I want. Oh, hang on. I only had this idea maybe an hour ago, hour and a half ago, that I was going to do a live Facebook today. So you'll have to excuse me for my non-planning. Um, I had an excellent idea for, for doing it too, because I know a lot of you are sitting at home, homeschooling those kids. Um, and I, and I know that, um, a few of you have been doing it a little tough with that. So fingers crossed. Art class with the kids today. You could do art class Just with the kids today. Fun. Depends on how much you like kids, though, Louise. No, no swearing, though, Matt. No swearing. No swearing with art class with the kids. Um, I'm going to use my gel medium to put it on, and I'm going to be putting it onto my page first, then going over the top. Helps if you get some gel medium on your brush. All right, a quick little art journal page. Like that. So I want her to go there. I'm going to pop her up the side. And just smoothing it out with my brush and my fingers. So yes, ten percent off of your um, off of paint and uh, stencils and what did I say? Paint stencils and collage paper, which is what I'm using. I really should have nailed that. And I'll, I will and Louise just said that she will refund any extra postage. So what we're going to be doing, because I'm, I'm not going to do any, you know, fancy show specials or anything like that, and I might change my mind tomorrow. There might not be a special tomorrow. I haven't decided yet. But 
The idea is, is we're going to look after you and we're going to try and make sure that you get something to watch every day. Um, the, I want to wrap that in a baby wipe. Gel medium is a really good glue, guys. I want to keep my, my brush out of the water, but I don't, don't want it to dry in this extreme heat of Adelaide. Um, so moist. So, <laughs> I didn't want to say moist. I wanted to say not dry. Gosh, I'm so funny. All right, now I'm going to use this um, paper rose stencil. This is the pinwheel flower. The code is 20622. I said that out loud so Louise knows to take it offline. She's not listening. 622. And what I want to do is I'm going to add a few patterns in the back now using, I don't know, what have I got next to me? Not enough. Told you I wasn't organised. Let me just grab my modelling paste. Apologies, just chat amongst yourselves. I'm back. Okay, so I want to give the background a little bit of texture before I add the um, before I add the paint. So and some more collage paper. So I'm just using this paper rose stencil, the pinwheels, and popping in a little bit of texture over the top. And I'm going to paint over the top of this as well. But I just wanted to give it a little bit of. Yeah, look at that. How good does that look on craft? Overlapping it onto my collage paper. And that's really important to start tying all of these elements together, okay? That is annoying me. I hate a straight line. So I'm going to match up and swipe up. And that works for me and a little in the middle okay um, so later on this week we will be releasing online the details for our 2022 retreat I will be releasing the details of the event of the guest teacher I will be releasing, what did I do with the baby wipes? Yeah. I will be releasing information and you can pay a deposit for the 2022 event. Of course, we know, we don't know what's going to happen in 2022, but if you don't give yourself something to look for, then hey, you've got to give yourself something to look forward to and then we will... Cross that hurdle when we get to it. There is a, um, it, it worked out just fine last year. This year, this year, this year. But oh, yes. Oh, hey Louise, could you turn the PowerPoint on for me, please? Sure. Heat gun only works with power. Um, so yeah, the retreat will be set. Um, absolutely no hints, um, Michelle, as to who the guest is. Um, let's be honest. Why would I tell you now and release the information now? You're going to have to come back. Um, the we can give one. We can give one him. They're going to be doing something with paper. They're Australian. Oh, they're Australian. Yeah, there is no guest from overseas. And to be perfectly honest, I don't think I'd really want anyone from overseas at this moment in time. But we do have an Australian. All right, just drawing off my modelling paste. Making sure that it's nice and dry so when I put my paint over it in a moment, it's going to look splendid. Done. Righty O. So now I want to put some paint on my page. Um, I'm going to tie off those bits. Whose stencil, please? That's a paper rose stencil, Karen. It's the pinwheel flower. Pinwheel flower, if you pop that into your search engine. And for those of you who are just tuning in and you go to your checkout, you can use the code LOCKDOWNSUCKS 
for today only. Right, so what I want to do is I want to pop some paint on this now. So I'm going to use some gold, some Reeves gold. I'm going to use, what have I got here? I'm going to use some turquoise. And yes, I said it in a funny way, and that was for the pure entertainment of my Louise. Turquoise. It's one of those words that Louise can't say. Can say, refuses to say popping. And that's okay because each to their own. All right, I'm just gonna use a big brush here and I'm gonna dry brush on some paint. And I'm just wanting, I'm not doing a whole lot. I'm just going to do a few little pops of colour. And then I'm going to put gold over the top of this in a moment. So what's happening is the dry brushing is picking up the top of the stencil. And I'm going to add some stamping to this. And I'm going to add, I don't know, like I said, unplanned, no idea. But it's all connecting so that's really important i'm not just putting paint smack bang in the middle here i'm either connecting it to an edge i'm connecting it to a element on the side which is this um the stenciled image just getting on that little bit of color uh, i now want to use i'm going to use another color let's go with Where is mineral? Mineral, mineral is here. I want to use mineral. Mineral is my current go-to. Is oops, that's a lot of paint. Let's just commit to that. Um, it's like a blue grey. And it's quite mild. And I like me a bit of mild colour. It doesn't always have to be in your face. But it's really quite a nice subtle blue grey. And as you can see, I'm putting it on my brush and then I'm wiping it off. And that's so that I get that really, really nice dry brush technique. So I want to see some creating but from you guys. I want to see some creating up in our... Facebook community, I would love to see how you all are creating over lockdown. If you, if you are in lockdown, if you're not in lockdown, allow yourself some time to create. Creating is good for the soul. Creating is good for your mental health. You do not have to make anything perfect. You just have to have, you enjoy that putting paint down on paper. Um, I'm going to use some Reeves. Fine Artist Quality Gold. So I have these online as well. And if you look under paint, this is my go-to gold. And I love gold on craft. That is probably my favouritest ever combination. And I'm going to do a couple of things with this gold. I'm going to lightly brush it over the top. But then I'm going to pop, do a little bit of stenciling with it as well. So the light... The light brushing is creating a really lovely effect, but the stenciling in a minute is, is what's going to make it pop. And that's way too much. So let's just spread that out while it's wet with my fingers. Happy days. And I'm just using a dirty brush. I'm gonna bring it up and show you how much I'm putting on there. Actually, the light's catching it quite well. Go me. Oh, and, and don't be afraid to blow your own horn, guys. Go me. <laughs> right. So I've got here a little tiny, tiny little blending sponge. Little tiny, tiny blending tool. And I'm going to crack out that stencil again. And I'm going to use my gold paint.
especially over the craft area because it's going to look amazing. Oh, yeah. That's a bit nice. So there's lots and lots of different stencils available. I've got a huge range of Stencil Girl. I have a great range of Paper Rose. I have a great range of lots and lots of different companies. Um, if this one has sold out, that's okay. Get a different one. It doesn't have to be the same as mine. Okay, there's plenty of options available for you. Um, I've just shown you what to do with one stencil. But do you see how good this gold looks on craft? Oh, that's juicy. All right, so how's my girls? My girls are going here. And she's going to go here. Right, there's a little bit of this red going on here. Um, how am I going to tie that in? I'm going to tie that in, but I need to give it some stamping first. She needs a bit of... You know what's going to happen is I'm going to put my hand in that in a minute. So let's just swipe a little off. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just made that worse. All right. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Radio. what are we going to do? I've got that one out. Um, can you hear me thinking? I'll we'll just do some spots. And I'm going to use the Hickory Smoke Distress Archival. Which is going to be quite light. Because it doesn't always have to be bold. Now, again, I'm connecting to the other elements. And I'll be adding another stamp in a minute. Now, it's going on super light. And that is exactly what I want. I don't need it to be in your face. This is the other one on this sheet. So I'm going to go in with that one. And this time, I'm going to be using... I might go with a little vintage photo, hey? So the vintage photo's got that nice brown, the yellow based brown. And I can just tie that in really, really lightly. Just another little element of, oh, what's going on there? That's the wrong ink colour. But let's commit to it. Sorry, I got tied up not watching the comments. Radio. All right, since I've got these archival inks out, let's go with a brown. And I pulled that one out before. That was attached to my block from the other day. So I might just use that. So this one is one of my 
personal designs, Natalie May scrapbooking, uh, Buds of May. So this is Ground Espresso. That'll do. Then you have to do one and mess it up, don't we? It's smudged. So where it's smudged, I'm just going to quickly baby wipe. Now, the reason it's come off with a baby wipe is because I used gel medium. And gel medium kind of created a bit of a slick surface. So my little clean spot that I've got going on here, now I'm just gonna grab some gold paint and we're gonna tie that in and you're never gonna know. Righty, oh, let's have a look here. So we've got some really interesting little elements going on here. We've got some real light faded stamping in the background. A little bit of interest with these vintage photo circles here. We've got that stenciling in gold. Uh, what I'd like to do next is, I was thinking about adding, adding some words. Um, this collage paper, there's lots of really awesome designs in collage paper around. Um, I really like this going here so she needs to be when I put them on they need to be connected to something so this one's going to go probably here and connected to the bottom of the page but this one here I'm thinking about making her sit a little bit higher so to make her a little bit sit a bit higher she can't be floating she needs to be sitting on something she needs to be attached to because she's got no body so she needs to be attached to some sort of element. So I've got a big box of thickers here. You know how I love those. So what I'm gonna do is find something that works um, in my, my little stash. Um, I've got all sorts of words that I have been collecting since forever and ever and ever, ever. And what I love about them is that I can I can change the color of them easily enough with just a little bit of paint. I can make them work for my project by adapting it to suit. I'd like something, maybe red. Red, do I have, I got, have I got anything in red? Let's have a look here. Well, that's the word I want. All right. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to pop on here. Let's just stick her down and commit to it. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to stick her down with some glue. And I'm just using puzzle glue to stick her down. doesn't have to be fancy schmancy I'm creating this for me now I'm gonna stick her down and once you commit to it and it's on there then it's done What's the time? Oh, laughing, plenty of time. Right, so how do I connect that to something? I might grab some more 
collage paper. Let's see what I've got in my stash of collage paper. I could, I just want to pop a little something down there for my, so when I stick my title on, it's going to stand out. Um, uh, 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 uh. Oh, that's cool. See, I have um, some deli paper here, which I have pre-printed with paint on my gel plate. And that makes a really great background. So I might use that. So you can see the pattern that's in the background. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to put my word on over the top of this. And I'm going to then, I'm going to do it in a couple of different layers because it's going to look great. Maybe. You've got to listen to me. Crikey. Talk about waffling on. But she needs to be connected. So I'm going to do a couple of different layers. I don't mind something with a little white. So just tearing off some strips. Now, I've got this word here that says currently, so I'm just going to peel it lightly off of my packet of thickers. I've got no idea what set this word is from. Like I said, I have got a collection here of things where I've been using them from my own stash and not saving them for a rainy day. I know, right? Because that's a thing, actually using the products. And after a million years of crafting, I have collected mm all the things. I have lots and lots and lots of different products. So I tend to stick it on the back of a paintbrush, line it up to where I want it, find an area that I can anchor down, completely mess it up. There we go. And then commit to it. Commit to it. Currently, then I'm going to make a sentence. Currently. No, okay, definitely that. So this particular sheet is off of one of the Dina, out of one of the Dina Wakely packs. I do believe, or maybe the, the writing. Like she's got a whole pack of just writing. So I'm going to do this and I'm tearing the edges just because it always looks better when it's torn and I'm going to stick that on about here with gel medium doodle on let's get a bit of doodle happening i've got a black pen did anybody notice i had a big stock up online of black pens on the website if you have a look in the pen section because there's a whole pen section you will find a range of pens that are perfectly suitable for art journaling for copic coloring for there's, there's all sorts, there's paint pens, there's paint markers, there's permanent markers. I got some Sharpies in stock. Uh, 
Sharpies, couple of different sizes, the extra fine and also the fine, I think it is, the ultra fine maybe. Um, ultra, fine. ultra fine. And so they are available in stock. So you have plenty of options now. So I am more than happy to enable you in your pursuit of the perfect black pen. There is also some white pens in stock. Um, I'm just using my pen here, and this pen that I'm using is the Pilot, I don't know what that's called actually, it's like a, a click pen and it's just a really fine one. And I'm just going over some of these elements, because I've stamped on a rough area, I want to make my stamped images a little bit more noticeable, so I'm just drawing where the stamped images could be. And that works, okay. Dun, dun, dun. The other thing that I got in, and I was talking to the girls on Saturday about, is this. So this is called the Mean Streak. This is a crayon, essentially. It is a waterproof Sharpie, permanent marking stick. Marks on wet and oily surfaces. Um, it's fade resistant. It dries in a few minutes. So you can see that it's a crayon and you can wind it up. Um, and I'm going to just pop some little pops of white in my flowers. And it's smudgeable while it's wet, which is great. So I can just get in here with my fingertip and give my little flowers here, a little pop. Um, so that's a very cool little thing. And then in a moment, I'm going to add some splatters with red because it needs this little pop of red going on in here. I can't just have the red floating around. You know, it, it needs a bit of balance. So get your thickers out, get your alphas out, create a title for your project using what you have got rather, you know, and, and sentence starters. It's going to start a sentence and I love that idea. It prompts you. All right, the girls are on there. The only thing I can find close by is a brand new, unopened Dina Wakely Gloss Spray. Take it out of the packet. So for those of you who are just tuning in, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is my Monday morning impromptu quick little art journal page and as I was saying before, for Monday only, if you jump online to nataliemay.com.au, use the code LOCKDOWNSUCKS, you should get 10% off paint, collage, paper and stencils. That will not, the 10% won't apply automatically. You have to put that code in, okay? Um, you have to work for it just a little bit. Um, so we will be posting at... If you want something posted today, you need to get your order in by 1 p.m., okay? Um, if you want us to hold your order till later on in the week, please put in the comments section, hold order, all right? We're happy to do that for you, but we are not mind readers, so you do need to tell us, all right? So what I'm going to do now is I want to add a few splatters with the Rouge Gloss Spray. And because I don't want the splatters on there or on there, oh, I'm so sorry, bang the camera. Um, I am going to cover my girls, cover my girls with some bits of paper towel and dun, 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 dun. 
I know it's fiddly, but it works. Any bits that you don't want, and then I'm just gonna put my glue on top of it to anchor it, and my craft knife there to anchor it. All right, are we ready for a splatter? Rouge, beautiful color. And I'm just gonna take the nozzle off and I'm just gonna smoke his tap to make sure that it's only going on my page. And it's just giving a nice amount of color. All right, beautiful. Lift, lift, oops, hit the floor. Lift, lift, lift. And I'm gonna quickly dry that off with my heat gun. Um, so yeah, more than happy to post today for you, but you do need to uh, get your order in by 1 p.m. Adelaide time. You, If you want us to hold your order and we can post it later on in the week, that is fine. We are more than happy to do that. But you do need to write hold in your uh, comments. And if you decide that you want to order again later on in the week, just put another order through and we will just refund your postage. You only need to pay postage once, okay? But we will refund any extra postage. So there you go. There's a 40 minute or less than, because I talked a bit, um, live little Facebook class, little mini class using collage paper, using stamps, using stencils and using paint. All right, I'm going to bring it up show you the details a little bit of stamping love that shimmer on the craft loving it loving it loving it in fact it just needs a little bit more scribble doodle down here because I can't not do that and that's what how I roll And then I like to put today's date on it. So it is the 9th of the, I don't know, what month is it? August? August. 9th of August. So I will put somewhere on this page. Um, 9th of August 21. Um, so there you go. All right, guys. Thank you so very much for tuning in today. Um, and I hope you are all doing okay to make the most of it. Make something pretty, make yourself smile, annoy your husband person or your kids. Um, today only nataliemay.com.au use the code lockdown sucks to get 10% off paint, collage paper and stencils. All right. Order by 1 PM for same day shipping, right? hold in the comments section if you think you might do something else throughout the week and you just want us to hold it um i hope you're all doing really really well keep your chin up guys i'll put a photo up here um and i look forward to uh chatting with you all soon wash your hands kiss your kids and all your husband wear a mask chat soon